He sees the officers coming. He bails, preparing to deal with them the same way he's dealt with everyone else. Keep watching as we take a look at seven times when crimes took unexpected and disturbing turns, going beyond what we usually expect. Number one, North Hollywood Shootout. The North Hollywood shootout in 1997 was a harrowing incident where what initially seemed to be like a routine bank heist turned into a full-blown firefight. This pickup will do just fine. As the robber calmly transfers his gear to the truck, other civilians continue to drive by unaware. Two heavily armed robbers, Larry Phillips Jr. and Emil Matasaranu, entered the Bank of America, equipped with automatic weapons and body armor. As law enforcement responded, a prolonged and intense gun battle ensued, leaving the surrounding area resembling a war zone. The perpetrators, with seemingly ordinary intentions, turned a common crime into a spectacle of violence, illustrating how unforeseen escalations can accompany even the most straightforward criminal activities. What began as a seemingly routine bank heist morphed into a protracted and intense firefight, shocking the nation and forever altering perceptions of criminal capabilities. He's got nowhere left to hide. His last shot goes into the curb. He struggles to get up. As the duo entered the bank, their appearance and weaponry immediately set them apart from conventional bank robbers. What initially appeared like a typical crime in progress took a grisly turn when Phillips and Matasaranu unleashed a barrage of gunfire upon exiting the bank. The streets of North Hollywood transformed into a battleground as the robbers engaged in a fierce exchange with responding police officers. The perpetrators, armed with fully automatic rifles and equipped with body armor impervious to standard police weaponry, displayed a level of firepower that law enforcement was ill-prepared to confront. Officers need more than just better training. They need more than better weaponry. The shootout intensified, with both sides sustaining casualties. Civilians and news crews caught in the crossfire sought refuge, while police officers struggled to contain the escalating violence. The incident, broadcast live on television, presented a surreal and nightmarish scene. The prolonged gun battle showcased the inadequacies of traditional policing tactics against well-armed and determined criminals. The perpetrators, seemingly prepared for a warlike confrontation, demonstrated a level of criminal sophistication that shocked both law enforcement and the public. Number 2. The Cleveland Kidnapping the Cleveland kidnappings, orchestrated by Ariel Castro, were a nightmarish deviation from a typical abduction case. Castro kidnapped Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Gina De Jesus, holding them captive in his home for over a decade. Unearthed from the moment police arrived after getting that 911 call that day. In 2013, the world was shocked by a revelation of a decade-long nightmare endured by three young women in Cleveland, Ohio. Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight were abducted by Ariel Castro between 2002 and 2004, sparking one of the most notorious kidnapping cases in recent memory. The ordeal began when Berry disappeared on April 21, 2003, a day before her 17th birthday. De Jesus was taken a year later at the age of 14, followed by Knight in 2002. Our first glimpse at those tense moments when Cleveland police pried open the front door of Ariel Castro's home, freeing Gina de Jesus and Michelle Knight. For years, the women were held captive in Castro's house of horrors, enduring physical and psychological torment. Their captivity ended on May the 6th, 2013, when Barry managed to escape with the help of a neighbor, Charles Ramsey. She made a frantic 911 call, revealing the unimaginable horror that had transpired for over a decade. Responding officers rescued De Jesus and Knight from Castro's house, where they had been subjected to unspeakable abuse and confined to squalid conditions. Yeah, have you still got my car? <laughs> I lit up her world when I thought it was still sitting there. Ariel Castro, a former school bus driver, was arrested and later pleaded guilty to 937 criminal charges, including kidnapping and rape. In 2013, he was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. However, the trauma inflicted upon the victims persisted long after their physical rescue. The Cleveland kidnappings not only exposed the heinous acts of one man, but also highlighted the resilience and strength of the survivors. Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight became symbols of courage and perseverance as they rebuilt their lives in the aftermath of unimaginable trauma. Number 3. Bernie Madoff's Financial Fraud Bernie Madoff's financial crimes went beyond the typical boundaries of securities fraud. What initially appeared as fraudulent investment activities transformed into the largest Ponzi scheme in US history. Madoff defrauded investors of billions of dollars over several decades, causing widespread financial ruin. 
the news spread fast and quickly engendered panic amongst investors who gathered at the offices of their alleged swindler. The consequences reached far beyond immediate financial losses, eroding trust in the financial system and leading to significant regulatory changes. This case serves as a stark example of how white-collar crimes can escalate into systematic failures with profound and enduring societal impacts. Bernie Madoff orchestrated one of the most infamous financial crimes in history through an elaborate Ponzi scheme. Operating since the 1960s, Madoff attracted investors with promises of consistent returns while using new funds to pay existing clients, creating a facade of profitability. The scheme grew to approximately $65 billion, ensnaring wealthy individuals, charities, and institutions. The folks that have contacted us are uh, so profoundly invested in these funds that it'll alter their lives pretty much forever. And we, we are doing everything we can to behave as quickly as we can in, uh, in seeking recovery of those assets. In 2008, amidst the global financial crisis, increased redemption requests led to Madoff's confession and subsequent arrest. He pleaded guilty to 11 federal felonies, receiving a 150-year prison sentence in 2009. Madoff's crimes had far-reaching consequences, resulting in profound emotional and financial devastation for victims who lost their life savings. The scandal exposed regulatory shortcomings, prompting reforms to prevent future frauds. The legacy of Madoff's betrayal endures as a cautionary tale, emphasizing the importance of transparency, accountability, and due diligence in the financial industry. Despite restitution efforts, the scars left by his fraudulent activities serve as a stark reminder of the consequences when trust is exploited for personal gain in high finance. Number 4. The Oklahoma City Bombing The Oklahoma City Bombing of 1995 showcased how a crime of rooted in personal grievances can escalate into an act of domestic terrorism. Timothy McVeigh, seeking revenge for perceived government abuses, detonated a truck bomb, resulting in the deaths of 168 people. This devastating act demonstrated the potential for individual grievances to transform into large-scale acts of violence, with far-reaching consequences for both individuals and society. Attack on innocent children and defenseless citizens. It was an act of cowardice, the bombing left an indelible mark on the national psyche and underscored the threat posed by extremist ideologies. The Oklahoma City bombing of 1995 stands as one of the deadliest acts of domestic terrorism in the United States. On April the 19th, 1995, a truck packed with explosives detonated outside the Alfred P. Mora Federal Building, claiming 168 lives and injuring hundreds. The attack, orchestrated by Timothy McVeigh, aimed at expressing discontent with the government's handling of the Waco Siege and Ruby Ridge incident. The victims of the Oklahoma City bombing have been given not vengeance, but justice. And one young man met the fate he chose for himself. The blast destroyed a significant portion of the federal building, leaving a 30-foot wide crater and causing extensive damage to surrounding structures. The victims included federal employees, children in the building's daycare center, and numerous others. The incident prompted an extensive investigation, leading to McVeigh's arrest, trial, and eventual execution. The Oklahoma City bombing had profound implications on U.S. security measures, influencing policies and legislation to prevent future acts of domestic terrorism. Today, every living person who was hurt by the evil done in Oklahoma City can rest in the knowledge that there has been a reckoning. The resilience of the Oklahoma City community in the face of tragedy became a symbol of national unity. The Oklahoma City National Memorial now stands at the site, commemorating the victims and serving as a poignant reminder of the devastating impact of extremist ideologies on American soil. Number 5. Tyler Clemente's Case the case of Tyler Clemente underscores the dark side of cyberbullying, revealing how online harassment can escalate into real-world tragedy. Tyler Clemente, a college student, became a victim when his roommate secretly live-streamed the private encounter, leading to public humiliation. Remember, Tyler Clemente was the young boy with the violin who took his own life. The tragic incident that unfolded in September 2010 brought attention to issues of cyberbullying and the devastating consequences of LGBTQ discrimination. Tyler Clemente, an 18-year-old freshman at Rutgers University, became the victim of a heinous act when his roommate, Darun Ravi, used a webcam to secretly livestream Tyler's intimate encounter with another man. Why was he so arrogant and so mean-spirited and evil? What I want is justice. Unable to bear the emotional distress, Clemente took his own life. 
This tragic incident sheds light on the profound psychological toll of cyberbullying, emphasizing the need for awareness and preventative measures to address the consequences of online harassment. Number 6. The Matamoros Court Killings the Matamoros court killings in the late 1980s represented a shocking escalation of a routine drug deal. Adolfo Constanzo, a drug lord and court leader, turned drug-related activities into a series of ritualistic murders. After Mark Kilroy, 21, a South Texas pre-med student disappeared on a spring break road trip to Matamoros, Mexico. The court, known for its brutality, claimed numerous lives, incorporating human sacrifice into criminal enterprises. The case serves as a stark reminder of how criminal activities, when intertwined with extremist ideologies, can lead to unthinkable acts of violence, blurring the lines between organized crime and court fanaticism. And what they found out shocked the world. The brutal nature of the Matamoros court killings came to light in 1989, when the authorities discovered multiple shallow graves containing the mutilated remains of the victims. The victims, including American student Mark Kilroy, were sacrificed in a horrifying manner to supposedly enhance the court's supernatural powers. Number 7. Tiananmen Square Massacre The Tiananmen Square protests of 1989 began as a peaceful demonstration for political reform in China. However, the Chinese government's declaration of martial law marked a turning point, transforming a political protest into a violent crackdown. Fifteen years ago, China was still almost totally isolated from the rest of the world. The military was deployed to disperse the crowds, culminating in the infamous Tiananmen Square Massacre. The Chinese government, under the leadership of Deng Xiaoping, declared martial law and eventually resorted to a brutal crackdown on June the 4th. The People's Liberation Army was deployed, using force to disperse the protesters. The exact number of casualties remains unknown, but estimates suggest that thousands were killed and many more were injured or arrested. Army helicopters swooped low over the heart of Beijing. Some dropped leaflets warning that force would be used if the demonstrators didn't give up. The iconic image of Tank Man, a lone individual standing in front of a column of tanks, symbolizes the resilience of the human spirit against oppressive regimes. The international community condemned the Chinese government's actions, leading to diplomatic isolation and sanctions. What do you think of these crimes? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more.